Is there somebody in there? Hello? Oh, it's a guard. <laughs> I thought I saw you in there, guard. How you doing? Uh, we're just going to go visit our friend over in cell block D. You don't mind, do you? I think this is cell block D. Oh, creeper. Holy. All right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Minecraft 404 Challenge Redux 2020, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, yeah, we're picking up right where we left off here after the end of the last episode. I've done absolutely nothing since then. It is now Monday. Um, hope you had a nice weekend. And thank you very much for all the comments and the likes and the tips and uh, so forth and so on. Keep them coming. Very much appreciated. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. I forget what we were doing, but we'll figure it out. Oh, we want iron. We're going to get a full suit of iron armor. Um, the leather tunic's not too bad. We'll keep that on for a while but we need pants and shoes and we also have a new friend over here we have leon leon the zombie villager one time pirate i believe hi ted oh, everybody's dropping in yeah guys how many times have i told you i don't like it when people drop in get out of here we really need to do something about our defenses here it looks like it's free time i guess it's free time um yeah everybody drops in around here i'm not really fond of that Anyway, so we have um, we have Leon here. Leon is a zombie villager, and I do believe Leon was a uh, a pirate in a former life. He's got a patch, eye patch. <laughs> so Leon, we're gonna save you, okay? Yeah, we're gonna try to cure Leon here and turn him into a villager, and we'll have a friend forever and ever down here in exile, and that'll be just swell. Um, however, he's gonna despawn the second we leave the chunks. And uh, the, the nether in particular, because we have to go to the nether to get to make a brewing stand, right? So, many of you had suggested we give him a tool, and that will prevent him from despawning. And that is a thing. So, let's go see if Leon here is a tool user. I don't know. He's a pirate. I don't know if he knows how to use a shovel, because not all zombies are created equal. Hey, Leon. Here, pick that up. Pick it up. Eh, uh, it's a shovel. You dig with it and stuff. Okay, so apparently Leon here does not have what it takes to use tools. Wait, did he pick it up? I don't see it. Uh, did it fall into the lava? Hmm. Maybe it fell into the lava. Oh, no, it's still there. I see it right there. It's down by his feet, but he won't pick it up. Because <laughs> he's a pirate. He has no idea what a shovel is for. So, that's a problem. All right. How about a hat? We can make you a pirate hat. Yes? I think he said yes. All right, let's do that. We can give him a helmet. I'm not going to give him my helmet, though. I need that. We don't have any iron to make another one, and we don't have enough leather either. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. So, oh, we can give him a name, too. Maybe we can find a name tag. Maybe we can find a name tag in the uh, in the uh, mine shaft in a treasure chest. Oh, there's a guard. Two guards. Ooh, guards are out in force today. I'm going to eat right now. I know I'm not supposed to eat until you're really super hungry, but I need all the healing we can get in case we get shot by those those guards. They, they, they tend to have uh, trigger fingers. Very itchy trigger fingers. <laughs> all right, Leon, we'll work on your uh, dilemma at some point. But for right now, I think we need to go over here, actually, and get some more iron. There's some iron up here, I noticed, right there. Um, and then we want to get to that mine shaft, which is right there. Yeah. Let's, well, let's, we're just going to have to do it. Hi, hi, guards. Sorry. I know. Listen, I don't know the rules. I'm new around here. Oh, good. So yeah, this happens. They fight once. They fight each other once in a while. It's fantastic. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm rooting for the, ske the, the skeleton. <laughs> I'm rooting for the skeleton. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. All right. Well, that was easy. And we got, did we get bones? We didn't get any bones. We got arrows. Well, arrows are good, too. But we need a bow. And we can get up there and get that. Those cobwebs for strings. Oh, there's bones right here. Cool. Um, probably not going to be enough bone meal. Let's see if we can get one to grow. Yeah, so the trees do burn this close. Oop. Oh, well, that didn't that didn't do anything. Oh, we got a bow. Ooh, a bow and three arrows, but that bow is a disaster. Uh, we can repair. Can we repair bows in um, in grindstones? I think so. All right, I'll go put the bow away. We'll hang on to it until we get a grindstone going, and maybe we can repair it. All right, now let's go. Uh, let's go get that iron. Now that the guards are gone, should be able to do this. Um, we are going to need some lighting. I'm going to just put this water right here for now. 
Um, we do have the we do have the lamp, don't we? I keep forgetting that we have this lantern here, which is pretty awesome. But now we have two sources of light because I think we're gonna need them. Uh, let's hang. Oh, creeper! <laughs> Hi, what's up, buddy? He's not an inmate here. I don't know who he is. I think he's just visiting. Are you just visiting? Who are you visiting? Ted? Ted's dead. Uh, well, he's not here right now. <laughs> he's indisposed. Wow! No, you don't. Ooh. Oh, don't you mess with my trees. Holy cow. All right, we're going to have to knock this guy into the lava or something. Yeah, I need to do something about this, too, and secure this a little better. Wham! There he goes. Sizzle, sizzle. We deserve it. All right. Uh, now let's get back over here and get that, get this, uh, iron right here. Climb on up. Make ourselves a suit of armor sooner or later. And then we can get to that, um, go to the mine shaft and maybe look around for some treasure chests. And if we get a name tag, then we can name Leon and he won't despawn. Right? All right back. I've got 14 iron total. That's plenty to make the pants and the shoes. And I'm just grabbing some uh, some gravel here that we can use for navigational purposes as well as um, the flint for thangs. Uh, Alright. I think that's everything. We have 14 iron. We only needed 11. And we do have a chest plate already so we don't have to worry about that. I mean it's leather but it, it is magical. And it gives me a nice tingly feeling, and I like it. Now, let's get this cooking right off the bat here. Um, I guess I could split that up into two furnaces. I have... What's that? <laughs> I thought I heard something. I think it's just the crackling of the flames. Let's make up another furnace. Two furnaces cranking here. And uh, we can obviously use um, lava for fuel, right? But that seems like overkill. You don't really need it. We're going to have tons and tons of um, of coal around here anyway. So I'm going to grab this, in fact, while we're waiting for that iron to smelt. Oh, look at that. Big old vein of coal. That's what we like to see. Hopefully there's no lava to come falling down on our heads. Don't try this at home, kids. I'm a professional. Ted, we see you. Don't you dare drop by. We don't like it. When people drop by unannounced, at least call first, okay? Yeah, it looks like Ted's getting ready to come over here. So let's get out of here before he shows up. <laughs> He'll find the place empty. All right, 14 iron ingots. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and make our pants and our boots and slap them on. There we go. Awesome. Now I feel much better, and that helps against the, uh, the draft. This place is very drafty. So, let's go, although wait a second, I want to make, um, I want to make a flint and steel. We can use that for setting fires and lighting up the area real quick. And I think that's going to be, uh, pretty useful. And let's grab a torch and make one more lantern. And I'm only going to use the lanterns for lighting stuff up so you guys can see better when we stop and do, uh, mining and that kind of thing. But I don't want to abuse it, because lanterns are... Too bright and off limits for the most part for this challenge. All right, Ted, we'll see you later. Hey, you can drop in anytime now because we're not here. Ha! Ah. Let's grab this lantern right here. Don't want to leave this one behind. And then we're going to get to that mine shaft, which is right here. Can't wait. And hopefully we find some awesome loots and treasure. Oh, gosh, can't get it. Come here. Gotcha. Um, all right. Yeah, let's try our new flint and steel. See? Boom. Look at that. And that will go out eventually. Um, hopefully it doesn't catch anything on fire. It may not be great to use in a mine shaft because, well, you know, mine shafts have a lot of wood. Is there somebody in there? Hello? Oh, it's a guard. <laughs> I thought I saw you in there, guard. How you doing? Uh, we're just going to go visit our friend over in cell block D. You don't mind, do you? I think this is cell block D. Oh, creeper. Holy smokes. Did everybody drop it in? I don't like it when they drop in. Uh, we don't have a bow yet, which is a crying shame. We're going to make a bow. I'm going to make a bow as soon as we get some string. But I'm going to knock this guy right in the lava. Ready? Bam! Haha! -ha. Serves you right. Sizzle, sizzle. All right, now. Let's get over here. We Oh, another one. Dang it. We, we really need to secure this area better. And we will do that eventually. But I feel like we have priorities. And going to this uh, mine shaft is a pri... Where'd he go? 
Hello? Come over here! <laughs> He's waiting on the bridge! <laughs> oh, you little sneaky guy! You're a little sneakster! Come on! Come around the corner! He saw what happened to his friend. He's like, I'm not gonna fall for that trick. Oldest trick in the book! And I'll just turn around the corner and slice and dice, my friend! Can't fool me! Alright, is that it? Anybody else down there? Got a bat. All right. Oh, there's my chef right there. <gasps> Ooh, and cobwebs too, which are fantastic because we're gonna get um, we're gonna get some string from the cobwebs, and we can use the string to make fishing poles. And uh, you know, I'm gonna block this off. Can't let a fire in the water. Um, and uh, and a bow. Finally, we'll get our bow. Right. Whoops. Block that off. And I'd love to get a little fishing pond going over here too. Um, but that's going to be some time. And yeah, we can steal some of this water for that kind of stuff. And I don't like being in the dark, sorry. Just get a little fire going. Oh. Alright, let's let's hop on up here. We don't want to start a fire here and set all the wood on fire. This is lovely, lovely wood. And wood is indeed good. Let's get the red stone torches up at the very least. Oh, there's another guard. Oh, look at those. He's got Uggs. Uh, are those approved? I don't. I'm not sure that those are uh, approved. Um, well, I don't know if they are approved uniform uh, options. I don't know. I'm gonna have to talk to the warden about that. Man, we're just not gonna get anywhere today, are we? This is crazy. We got seven arrows now. Should have grabbed some of that, um, some of the string, but didn't have a chance. Let's bring this guy over here and see if he knows the old bridge trick. The old knock him in the lava trick. Uh-oh. Here comes Ted. Bad timing, Ted! Oh, he didn't. He clearly did not know about that trick. Newbie. He's a fish. Alright, let us eat a chop. So we can heal up. Alright, I think the coast is clear. Anybody else in there? No. Alright, let's get back and at least get this... The string. We need the string so we can make a bow. And then we can shoot back at the guards and get more arrows. Because there's really only one way to get arrows, and that is from guards. Oh, there's some more up above us here. Because um, there's no feathers down here. There's no chickens. So we can't kill chickenses for arrows. So we're going to have to either find them. Um, I don't know. Can you find arrows in treasure chests and things? Possibly. Or take them from the guards after we slaughter them. All right, let's uh, let's go to the right. Down the oh, there's a guard behind us. Hey, guard, can we talk? Over here, pal. Yeah, I'm lost. I don't know my way around D block. Can you help us? Yeah, see how they fall. They fall for that one every time too. They get nice and close. Come on, and then you hit them. And we got three string, enough for a bow, and seven arrows now. All right, fantastic. So far, so good. I see some iron right there. That's kind of nice. And let's brighten this up. We're going to take all this wood, too. Obviously, we have uh, wood and fence. Oh, guys! Guys! Look at this! We have a treasure chest! Yay! Oh, my. Look at that. We got iron pickaxe. We got some bread. Of course we do. It's prison. Uh-oh. Oh, no! This is not good. This is bad. Man, I don't like this section of the prison. Ooh, it's frightening here. Hold on, let's block that off. Let's go back and look at our treasure. Somebody left behind in this prison cell. Beetroot seeds, fantastic. Pumpkin seeds, that's awesome. A whole bunch of torches that we're not going to get to use unless we make jack-o'-lanterns. So we'll hang on to those. And I'm going to just chuck that in there. We don't need it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the minecart. Take the minecart and the chest. Take it all. And the rail, because we're gonna make we're gonna make a railway system that leads from our cell to this cell block over here and all around the place. If we're gonna be down here forever, we're gonna we're gonna live in luxury, my friends. We're not just gonna be surviving; we are gonna be thriving down here. Survive and thrive in prison forever and ever. We're gonna do it right. All right now, we want enough string for a bow and also for a. Um, fishing pole. Then we can make our fish pond and do some fishing and have a nice source of protein. 
And meats, because we're not going to get a lot of meat down here. All right, let's, uh, this is, that looks like the end of it that way. So let's go down this shaft. And again, I'm going to use the redstone torches to mark the path. Uh, torches on the right, follow them left to get back out again, right? Um, and it's easy to get lost in these places. Uh, you know, I'm probably just going to take all, you know, let's just do it right now. Let's just take all this wood right now. We're going to need it anyway, because the trees are not popping. Man, they just let the inmates roam around in here? What kind of prison is this? <laughs> Look at this guy down there. All right, hold up a sec. Let's make a bow right now. Make a crafting table. And we're going to go shoot this guy from afar. This is a game changer right here. But like I said, the only problem is we're not going to get a lot of arrows. We've got seven arrows so far. It's enough to kill one creeper. We'll shoot him right in the toes. Wham! Oh, we took aim! Yay! All right, I love I love achievements. So we'll just draw them in this way. And then when they come around the corner, you just... Hi! Slice them! Slice them dead. All right. Thought I heard some creepy little footsteps around here. I'm gonna grab a little bit more wood, and then some of this fencing, too. Because we can use this for perimeter defenses as well. What is this over here? Uh... Oh... <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to go in and have a peek. Maybe let a fire. Oh, check it out. We got gold. We got iron. Ooh. It's all natural cavern over here, though. Oh, there's some lighting. Okay. Well, stone won't burn, so I'm just going to light these fires and have a quick peek. Looks like we are at the end of this cell block mine shaft in this direction. So here's what we're going to do. I'm just going to block this off. I don't want anybody sneaking in. Especially that little boy scout. And yeah, we'll come back this way. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave this open just so I don't forget about it. Uh, we'll put a little redstone torch right there. And we'll come back here another time. But for right now, I think what I'm going to do is grab... Where's my other lantern? Did I use both my lanterns already? Oh, yeah. This one over here. Let's grab it back. Oh, I hear more feats. More feats. Feats everywhere. I think there uh, might be some more mine shaft above us, too. And I'm going to grab right now all this iron and the rail, too, because we want to make a, a subway station to get around better down here. It's going to be amazing. And, of course, some of this, uh, some of the fencing. All right. We got some more mine shaft over there? No. Thought I saw some wood. Uh, I'll come back for all the coal and that sort of thing. But it looks like this is also the end of the line in this direction. Oh, we got lapis. I hear feats. Hello? Somebody down there? I don't think you're supposed to be down there. That's off limits. Who is it? Let's go see. I forgot my lanterns. <laughs> I can't see in there. It's too dark. Somebody's definitely walking around. I'm going to tell the warden on you. Might be coming from up above. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's zombies milling about nearby. But it's either above or to the sides. Got some lapis here in case you want lapis for some weird reason. All right, that just goes back out. Yeah. Okay, I think here's what we're going to do. Let me go grab this other lantern right here. Did I get all the exposed iron? Oh, there's some right here. Ah! Oh, <laughs> wow, it's a trap. This place is all booby trapped too, apparently. Ooh, wow, that was um, that was a rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. It was only one iron, too. Yep, that was placed there deliberately. So someone like me would walk by and do that. Um, let's, we have two strings. So how many do you need for a fishing pole? Just two, right? Then tell you what, let's grab this last little bit right here with my shears. And we can use this to capture... Um, Capture Ted when he comes to visit. Oh, hi. And the guard. <laughs> guard. Oh, sheesh. Oh, it's a riot. Get him. Get him. Did you see that? He hit me, sir. That that inmate hit me. Go get him. It wasn't me. He started it. <laughs> I want your arrows, bro. I want your arrows, buddy. All right. Where's the other guy? Oh, here comes the inmate. He survived. 
I thought he was getting shot. Ah, that's right. Go to the corner. You're in trouble. Time out. Time out for you. Oh, look at that. He dropped iron and I can't even pick it up. Oh, someone's coming. Oh, I don't like it here. Oh, I don't like it over there. Too many holes. Too many holes. Let's eat some bread right now and get healed up again. And I think I'm just going to run back home and get situated. You ready to make a run for it? It's like running the gauntlet. Let's go! Although I can't see what's down here, though. All right. Go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go! Oh! Thought I heard somebody walking around up there. Woo! We just made it! Love it. And now, what I'd like to do is put this over here. Uh, maybe get creative with it, right? Put it over here somewhere. Uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. If you have any suggestions, put it down in the comments. I'm obviously going to go back for more. Uh, speaking of the devil, I just saw Ted. Oh, yeah, he's still over there. All right, come on over now, Ted. Come on. Yeah, I want to try this out on Ted. <laughs> Okay, let's put everything away, and then uh, I think we're going to call it quits right here for now, folks, because we are out of time. Um, I'm going to get the beetroot seeds and the pumpkin seeds in the ground. I'm not sure exactly where yet. I'm thinking over by the tree area. Makes the most sense, but uh, I'm not exactly sure about that. Looks like I forgot one of my lanterns. I'm paranoid now because I feel like we were being chased. Um, where's my hoe? Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Maybe we'll do this right now. Go we'll put the beetroot seeds and the other, um, the pumpkin seeds over here. Safe? Safe. Ted might come over and bug us, but I think we can, I think we might be able to get away with this. We can put farm right here, right? We can expand this out, this farm, farmland, right next to the trees. Crops don't burn, apparently, so that's nice. Um, we're gonna need some water, so let's just put one little bucket of water here. Eh, where is my water? I'm gonna go grab some water. I think I put one down over here, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Whoa! <sighs> that noise scared me. Alright, so this will get hydrated, and we're just gonna do this. Well, man, we really gotta do something about that like some kind of a roof we got beetroot seeds and we have pumpkin seeds so let's put the pumpkins uh, the beetroots here pumpkins over here and they're just gonna flop over right because that's how they that's how they operate and that's fine and now we have beets or we will anyway soon beets and pumpkins yay and pumpkins can be used to make jack-o-lanterns and beets can be eaten in beet stew, and it's going to be super awesome, and I'm very excited. Um, so for now, my friends, are going to call it quits. Hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Hey, Tad, you want to come over? All right, fine, then. I'll eat this bread all by myself. I was going to share it with you. All right, well, that's it for now. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.